Hey guys and welcome to the Kronos Heavy Review Diaries. In this week's episode we want to take um, a little bit of a different route and actually discuss rather than an individual product a range of products and in this case we want to discuss active loudspeakers and we want to talk a little bit about why they've grown so much in popularity but also some of the pros and cons of going down this route. So I think first and foremost what is an active loudspeaker? In its simplest form an active loudspeaker is a speaker with a built-in amplification and the advantage to that obviously is there is no need to have a separate amplifier in many many cases as well they also have built-in sources nine times out of ten this will be something like wi-fi streaming or bluetooth but in some cases such as the triangle where we have here they also have a built-in phono stage so you can see obviously as our first pro that they are a very convenient option. They're small, they're compact, but they still feature your amplifier and a range of sources in most cases. But I guess you could say there's an argument because many years ago, a lot of people wouldn't have regarded an active loudspeaker as a true high fidelity product. And I suppose like everything, technology has moved on and now you're seeing more and more hi-fi companies producing active speakers. But what is the main reason for that? Well, first and foremost, technology has moved on. And the sound, therefore, that you're able to achieve through an active speaker is night and day from when it was several years ago. Like everything, as technology has moved on, the ability to put in better amplifiers that are smaller in their size, streaming modules and phono stages has become easier so you can keep a speaker and have it essentially the same size as a passive loudspeaker but with all those features still built in and that's obviously a key element to why there has been a massive growth in the active speaker market of course the the ability to stream and the fact that streaming has become so much more popular has also aided in that because having an active speaker means that you can just stream directly to the speaker and your music's playing. You don't need an amplifier, you don't need a separate streamer. Um, whereas in the past with say a CD player, for example, as a source, those weren't really possible to build into speakers. So that sort of took away the opportunity, if you like, to have a compact system. You really needed a separate system. Now with streaming, the ability to have everything in one box is very, very achievable. Another reason for the popularity, particularly of speakers such as the triangles we have here, is the resurgence of vinyl. So many people are now getting back into vinyl, want to relive and rehear some of the vinyl that they've maybe stored away for many years, but they don't necessarily want to get into buying a full hi-fi system in terms of a rack full of separates. They want just essentially a turntable and a set of speakers. So these are absolutely perfect because these have built-in amplifier, built-in phono stage. So all you got to do is simply plug in a turntable and you have a full vinyl system in essence that is giving you something exceptionally close to a high fidelity sound. Now in our opinion, many of these active speakers are giving you so so close to what a separate system can do now the technology has advanced so much and there is also different options out there so for example the two examples i have here we have the ellipson w35i which is obviously as you can see quite a modern uh, sphere shape but this is more designed for your streaming um, and all your wireless so this can be used as it sits on its own or it can be used in stereo and on the flip side we have the likes of the triangles here these are obviously a stereo pair and this is much more of a conventional style of hi-fi so there is options there as well to make it work for your room for your style um, and obviously the aesthetics will be personal taste but we are also seeing active loudspeakers now moving into much more high-end models the likes of pmc for example have just released active versions of their 25 range devon are another example who are offering the ability to buy their speakers in an active version so you're seeing a lot of these high-end loudspeaker manufacturers now 
also offering active options. But I guess it is it does make sense if you live in, for example, an apartment where space is at a premium. An active option is brilliant. If you don't have the space for a full separate system, this is going to get you a sound that is so close. And even in some cases, perhaps better. It's of course up for debate, but it's getting you something, a real high fidelity sound. You're getting three dimensionality, dynamics, you're getting really sweet detail and you're getting a lot of bass. And so it's easy to see why many people have been attracted to moving into the active speaker market. It does have a huge number of advantages. I guess the cons of an active loudspeaker really is it doesn't offer you much of an upgrade path bar maybe upgrading the mains. The difficulty therefore is to get a an improved sound you will have to make more expensive jumps every time because realistically you will have to probably replace the entire speaker which means moving up to bigger models which are going to be at a larger price jump. With the separates obviously you can make changes like cables um, you can change one component at a time uh, and things like that, even isolation, for example, can all be done. With Active, it is a bigger jump. So like everything, there is pros and cons and I think it's about weighing up what is the best option for you. And of course, as a retailer, that's where we come in. We come in and we are happy to discuss whether or not a separate system or an Active might actually be the best way for you because in many times, Active is the perfect solution. In other cases, Active doesn't really give the customer what they wanted and therefore a separate route is the only way. Um, so it's a really, really impressive thing to do. And the other actually advantage of Active is we are seeing more and more manufacturers now bringing out room correction technology built into these speakers. So if you have a room that is really difficult, say for example, it's a conservatory or a sunroom that has lots of windows and reflective surfaces, that room correction technology is literally priceless because it's going to get you the best sound you will be able to achieve because it's obviously able to analyze the room and adjust itself to fix a lot of the problems that room is causing. In that same sense, a separate system in that case maybe won't actually perform better and in some cases even maybe worse because it doesn't have the ability to do that room correction. So again, it comes down to personal circumstance really, but for sure we are seeing a huge rise in popularity in the active range. And of course, if you want to come in and hear these for yourself, we have a wide range of active speakers available. We are of course happy to demo these besides full systems to give you a better idea of the sonic characteristics of both um, and go through a lot of the features. As I mentioned, it is a personal thing, so it's down to your circumstances and we're always happy to take time to understand exactly what you're trying to achieve with your system, what sort of sound you want, what sort of space you have to work with, and also what budget you have as well. So we're happy to do that, to give our advice on what's best. And then of course, you're always welcome to come in and listen for yourself to make the final decision. So obviously it's a very quick overview video of active loudspeakers and if you do want more information um, or you're interested in finding out more please always feel free to contact us all of our contact details are on our website and of course you're more than welcome to visit any of our stores to have a look and listen for yourself our full range of active speakers are also available on our website so you can get a better idea of pricing and what's available at the moment and of course as i say if you have any questions please never hesitate to get in touch so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful in some way and I look forward to seeing you soon in the next video.